DS software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.reslibrary.com Hi everybody, Professor Muhammad Sharaf with you. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, solar thermal power uh, cycle for uh, multi effect distillation barrel feed uh, thermal vapor com uh, compression configuration uh, for distillation processes. Uh, we are going to discover the main concept how we can run our model. Okay, uh, uh, the main concept of uh, such uh, configuration is that solar thermal power is directly transmitted from solar collector field, parabolic trough collector. I suppose it's a last system or dual trough, it's considered here. Uh, a very intermediate uh, unit, uh, which is a boiler heat exchanger unit, uh, uh, in order to convert uh, this thermal power to steam, the steam ejector, as a motive steam, uh, to power on uh, MED bar feed thermal river compression. The process is implemented uh, according to the operation of propolic trough collector field with terminal uh, uh, thermal heat oil heat transfer oil it's terminal vb1 okay a boiler heat exchange unit is, uh, is used as intermediate unit for thermal power transfer or conversion MED thermal level compression is used for desalination process and bombing system as you can see here this is a propolic trough collector okay and this is a heat transfer loop this oil in order to uh, transfer the thermal power from the solar field to the intermediate unit, which is a boiler heat exchanger unit, uh, which will, uh, will generate steam uh, as a motive steam to the steam injector. Okay, this is the entering uh, in the steam in order to uh, power on the first effect, and uh, the process will continue uh, um, from itself. Okay. Uh, this is the process of uh, MED thermal vapor compression. As you can see here, this is the end condenser and this is the entrant vapor from the end condenser. Okay. And this is the motive steam which is coming from the solar field. Okay. And this is the compressed vapor which is going to, uh, uh, going to power on the first effect thermally, the first effect. And uh, the process will continue uh, simultaneously. Okay. And this is a cooling uh, feed water. Okay. We have intake uh, uh, total feed water, which is feed to the MED, bar and the cooling water for the condenser unit. Okay. Uh, yes, this is our process. We 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 are converting such process into to be run by this. We have heat transfer oil pump. We have a PTC parabolic trough, parabolic trough collector. Uh, uh, intermediate unit boiler heat exchanger to transfer energy and and the motive steam is coming from the boiler heat exchanger unit okay it's going to uh, power on uh, the thermal vapor compre compressor and uh, the compressed vapor is going to uh, uh, power on thermally power on the uh, first effect of MED okay we have to assign the distal product, we have to assign solar radiation inputs, we have to assign top cycle temperature, okay, we have to assign the compression ratio here in order to uh, uh, discover uh, the rest of uh, the data, okay. Uh, actually, uh, uh, if we are going uh, based on performance analysis, decreasing compression ratio uh, down to a specific limit, for example, two, because it's it's rated from 1.8 up to six. So uh, going for two may increase the cycle performance and we uh, would decrease the specific bulk consumption. Increasing steam temperature uh, will increase the specific bulk consumption, and uh, as you can see here, increasing the number of effect will decrease uh, uh, the specific bulk consumption and the thermal economic uh, product cost. This is a very important parameter. And uh, sure, we increasing the compressor ratio, uh, uh, decreasing it, it, it may decrease uh, uh, the uh, specific bar consumption and so on. 
Suppose we are going to compare against uh, mechanical vapor cooperation. As you can see here, uh, we have thermal vapor and we have mechanical vapor cooperation. So as you can see, for thermal vapor cooperation, uh, total area of the solar field is decreased. As you can see here, specific power consumption is uh, 1 over 3, uh, 2.4 against 9, about 6. Security ratio is 6.4 against 3.8, almost half. Total water price uh, 1.5 against 2.1, and so on. Therefore, a thermal vapor uh, cooperation is uh, quite dominant. Okay, we are going to run our model uh, in order to discover the sun aspects for uh, uh, parabolic trough collector, uh, M, uh, bumps, MED, what is the areas, what is uh, the length of the, uh, the, uh, of the tubes, number of tubes, and so on. What is the energy streams, exchange stream, thermoeconomics, uh, and so on. Okay, um, going to our destination folder, running our model, as you can see here. Okay, uh, this is our model. It's opened. Uh, this is our model. Let's see. Okay. For some documentation, we have some. Uh, this is example from uh, uh, from Najim. It's published in Desalination, 1997, uh, Desalination Journal. It's, yeah, okay, okay. We're going to set our solar field for uh, 350 degrees Celsius for heat transfer oil. Top steam temperature. We are going to adjust our co uh, steam injector at uh, 60. I mean the cooperation ratio. Sea water temperature are going to assign at 30. Last tip, brine temperature is uh, 46.8. Uh, salinity profile. Okay, if it's salinity, the salinity of the blow down and uh, cooperation ratio 2.165. Motive steam. Uh, its motive steam range is from 100 up to uh, 3,500. Okay, number of effects of is four. Okay. Let's see from the beginning. Okay, solar addition you can assign it. Suppose it's 500 uh, or 600, 650. It's okay. Never mind. Okay, ambient temperatures is uh, 20. Maybe you are in winter. Outlet uh, solar field temperature is uh, 350. I'm sure so, so with this. This productivity um, I will going to assign it as. 4545 meter cube per day as an example um, let's go for yes this is our uh, plant let's go for purple trough collector we have to assign hydraulic mass flow rate in order to uh, uh, to um, this is is responsible for uh, the loops how many loops uh, how many segments uh, how many collectors or something like this going for last system or u trough it's around uh, collector which is 5.6 meter segment uh, length is 100 uh, glass envelope is 10 centimeter diameters uh, some uh, minor losses through the tubes and so on for evaporator we have bullet exchanger we have some tubes diameter minor losses shell diameter one meter 1.5 and so on this performance heat exchanger boiler effectiveness i am i'm satisfied with 80 percent it's okay a bump this bump its efficiency power cost it's okay uh, cost analysis it's um operate operating hours is uh, 24 direct capital cost interest rate Yes, load factor is 90%. Plant lifetime, it's, I think it's 25. It's very long life. Specific chemical cost, labor cost analysis. Okay, I'm satisfied with this. Okay, let's go for, for MED. Yes, MED. That's our main target. Okay. For operating conditions, CO temperature 30. Okay. It's fine, 30. To maybe 28, it's okay. Um, uh, brine blowdown is um, uh, 
46.8 like the example salinity uh, salinity ratio this is blue down salinity as this is sea water salinity okay let's go for the ejector yes for the ejector we have the range from 1.8 up to 6 okay i am setting it to 2.1 okay for motive steam i am i'm going to set it at 2500 a nozzle diameter it's 0 0.2 it's okay in the condenser we have shell diameter and tubes med med for we have to enter uh, our um, our number of effects as a matrix from one to four effects it's okay uh, this is some design aspects uh, based on demister packing, vapor velocity, demister packing lens, shell diameter, di uh, tubes diameter, and so on. Uh, performance we have condenser efficiency 80%. Bumps we have brine blue down bump, seawater bump, and distal bump. Efficiency of the bump for all the plant is around 75%. This is the cost of the power depending on your uh, uh, country and so on okay let's hit run and see what is going on okay okay first of all you can from outside discover the following you can discover distant exergy, feed exergy, lead total exergy destruction rate for the old cycle this is a mass, mass flow rate through the solar field a specific bulk consumption, MED area, and so on, some input parameters. But we can go inside for the performance analysis. Okay, this is a specific solar area, a meter square per meter cube per day. Okay, a specific bulk consumption is 2.16, it's quite interesting. Total cycle, total blend exertion structure rate in kilowatt. And this is total exergetic efficiency is around 29%, 39% or something like this. For cost analysis, we have hourly costs for MED, that's 1.45. Hourly costs for uh, for the solar field, it's 36. Hourly costs for boiler heat exchanger, for the pump, okay. And this is the total hourly cost of the flat. And we have here, uh, uh, total brand cost and total water price. Total water price is around 1.07, uh, uh, and this is very important parameter because this is uh, uh, this value you are going to sell your product. It's, it's total uh, uh, water price. Okay, we can discover some inputs, some uh, uh, outputs for uh, the parabolic traffic collector, such as uh, uh, feed. The mass flow rate through the parabolic trough collector uh, input cycle temperature it's very important is this is out we assigned this one okay we assigned uh, outlet at 350 and this is this one we are going to cool to, uh, to to discover and to deal with okay we have to deal with pressure and solve the outlet of the oil collector total area um, collector total lens reels number uh, uh, number of loops, number of solar field, number of solar collectors per field, uh, efficiency, exergy of the, uh, reversibility, uh, exergy efficiency, uh, exergy in and exergy out, sure. And this is a uh, cost stream, US dollar per kilojoule for from the steam from going from the solar field to the evaporatory unit. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, this is evaporatory unit. This is a thermal power, okay, thermal power, outlet in Thalby of the oil, outlet temperature, uh, outlet vapor in Thalby, okay, very important parameter, motive steam, uh, outlet uh, entropy, outlet uh, temperature, pressure, uh, solar field, mass flow rate, sure, uh, evaporator area, number of tubes, uh, and cost stream, excess destruction, pressure losses, this is cost thermoeconomic stream from uh, the evaporator going to the bomb from the evaporator uh, this is a stream from the evaporator to uh, the oil uh, oil bomb okay 
this is a bumping unit we have to uh, know that we are going to ha to harvest around uh, 100 kilowatt for this pump in order to uh, uh, to fourth uh, uh, the flow rate of uh, 40 kilogram per second through the parabolic trough collector field okay let's go for MED uh, for 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 uh, effects as you can see here this is uh, this is the whole whole block of the MED semi vapor commercial this one is um, uh, thermal vapor uh, this is steam ejector this is the endo condenser block and this is MED block this three blocks is for bumps feed distilled brine and this thermal economic block, block for performance and some economic data okay for steam injector uh, for the compression issues that we assign we have to know that we, uh, the steam uh, saturation temperature is around uh, 61 uh, this element ratio is 1.34 1.39 uh, or almost 1.4 uh, expansion ratio nozzle cross section area diffuser outlet area nozzle outlet area uh, and so on and, and, uh, velocity through the nozzle and so on let's go for uh, MED yes for MED this is the entrained uh, vapor uh, flow rate it's kilogram per second motive steam uh, total steam flow rate and this distal profile as you can see here uh, effect by effect feed this is feed uh, total feed uh, uh, this feed per, per each effect okay and this is brine profile uh, brine flow rate total brine flow rate okay suppose we are going to uh, assign let's go for the MED I am choosing from one up to a eight effects let's see what is going on here for MED and hit run, hit run. Yeah, okay. it's okay now yes as you can see here this is uh, eight effects this is if eight effects profile and this is temperature a uh, vapor temperature profile as you can see here and this is brine temperature profile and this is this value is that we, we assigned before for 6.8 okay and sure you can discover more you can discover this profile uh, temperature uh, pressure profile uh, per each per each effect condensate enthalpy entropy area profile this is area profile per each effect we have eight effects as you can see here let's go for uh, uh sure we have tube length number of tubes uh, performance ratio performance ratio as you can see here let's go for the end condenser we can collect a uh, feed flow rate okay as you can i'm going for uh, let's assign this one adjust this for 30 degrees celsius okay Let's go for from one up to four effects and see steam injector two is fine because I'm I'm seeking 60 degrees Celsius here I need 60 degrees Celsius let's see here yes 60 degrees Celsius so it's okay as you can see here okay uh, this is a feed flow rate in the condenser cooling water uh, uh, total feed flow rate it's okay uh, inlet feed temperature in the condenser this is temperature uh, heat transfer area uh, number of tubes tube lens and so on and this is a bumping uh, system we have 106614 uh, uh, for uh, feed bump uh, power consumption, 36 for distillate, 100 and uh, almost 44 uh, brine blue down bump. Okay, 
So if you increase the efficiency, you will decrease uh, the cons power consumption. Uh, this is exergy, inlet exergy of the steam, outlet exergy of the steam, uh, continue serving with the exergy of the feed, distillate, brine. Uh, this is total uh, exergy destruction rate of the MED. And this is the cost stream uh, US dollar per kilojoule for from uh, the MED going to the evaporator. Or, or I mean boiler heat exchanger oil. And this parameter is, is so important. This is the thermoeconomic uh, cost stream of the distilled product. You have to watch this value and uh, for cost analysis, uh, total water price. We have to consider these two values uh, and watch the effect on, on such. Let's go for uh, some uh, good and dynamic. I mean, let's go for to change some some uh, some parameters. I'm trying to change. Uh, let's go. Uh, I have to open it again. So you can from here you can collect your this is distal profile. You can collect some data from here. The distal profile. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, brine profile. Okay. Let's go for. We have also. Um, this is um, as you can see. This is a pressure profile. This pressure profile, and and so on. Okay. Let's go for. Uh, let's let's change uh, the system productivity. I'm going to change the system productivity. Uh, from here, yes. Uh, let's see, set, set it at infinity. Okay, and going here. Okay, okay. Let's watch. Uh, the effect of a system pole activity, yes. Hit run first, okay. Okay. Yes, let's change and watch the effect of changing the system pole activity uh, on the whole plant. Okay, let's try to increase productivity. As you can see here, changing many parameters, profiles, distillate, brine, steam, flow rate, and you can watch this effect on, sure, on the uh, parabolic trough collector field, as you can see here, I'm sure, yes, the area, area, yes, the area of the field, that's, let's see. Yes, changing the area. Okay, let's decrease again. Decrease uh, the system productivity. We'll change uh, everything here. I'm uh, sure. Um, let's go for yes, MED. We have to watch uh, the cost. Let's see our cost. Cost analysis. Total water price. Okay, plus decreasing. Okay, I'm here. I'm sorry, this is water price. Let's change. Let's decrease, as you can see. Decrease the productivity. Okay, okay. Or increasing the productivity will we'll make some changes uh, to your process. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, at stop. Uh, I'm sure the same effect is. Uh, let's go here and watch some effects. Is this? Uh, uh, yes, this is the effect of feed flow rate because we change it. Uh, 
change the productivity in the condenser total feed uh, okay and this is uh, uh, let's change um, this exergy exergy of the steam steam out exergy of the feed exergy of the of the death rate and so on uh, let's go for thermal economy product cost okay uh, not this one I think this one but so many parameters to address I mean as total water price yes changing little bit total blend cost total hourly costs and you can change you can uh, find out okay let's um, go for uh, motive steam I am I'm returning back here assign this as specific values 5000 meter cube per day a number of effects let's go for um, from one up to six effects okay and let's change let's hit run okay uh, let's go for for MED okay let's go for uh, MED we are trying to change uh, some parameters here yes uh, changing the steam injector design data okay let's change increasing increasing okay as you can see here 61 62 62 uh, 62 7 63 okay let's emphasize here okay as you can see here uh, that's it changing uh, the motive steam pressure kilopascal as you can see here changing the design limits uh, uh, and so on okay that's it stop this is effect of changing uh, uh, compression ratio and uh, motive steam on the process as you can see here uh, it can change some this motive steam flow rate um, MED area changing the specific power consumption a little bit changing and so on you have to uh, okay total lens collector area and many many parameter to uh, to address this MED area as you can see here changing it okay let's see what is this visibility of collector surge efficiency solar field demands flow rate and so on okay uh, let's go back here and adjust everything I'm thinking of this two and this two five hundred and this product plant productivity it's around around uh, five thousand so it's okay meter cube per day it's quite good uh okay 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 we 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 are going to say that uh, we have a plant of uh, solar uh, uh, solar per of field so thermal power is it, it, it is suitable for uh, MED thermal uh, desalination processes especially thermal vapor compression with high pressure uh, high uh, performance ratio uh, it can be run easily we, we you can uh, discover more and more and more analysis you can change CO, C, uh, feed uh, sea water temperature of uh, inlet feed uh, distillate uh, pro uh, productivity of the whole plant uh, top uh, parabolic trough uh, temperature solar radiation 
there's some input parameters that you can uh, a compression ratio of uh, of the steam injector so you can control some parameters in order to discover the design aspects and energy stream exergy streams and drive out your uh, your analysis uh, don't forget to download power cycle with reverse osmosis uh, and insulation plants with uh, geothermal energy or fuel cell or uh, photovoltaics or even organic crank cycle uh, finally would like to thank you for watching and giving us your time uh, don't forget to like uh, share subscribe and uh, thank you very much